I knew something was wrong with me my whole life. Growing up as a child, I'd, I'd feel a, a, a loneliness even when I was with other people. I felt like, have you ever felt, have you ever been left behind somewhere when everyone else is going somewhere and you're left? That's how I'd feel on a regular basis and I didn't know what it was. And I had a feeling that I didn't want to wake up anymore, didn't want to live. I'd say to me dad, my brothers, I wish I was dead 24 hours a day. Just constantly wishing bad things on myself and what, one, like not wanting to live and I didn't value my family, my friends, achievements, money, fame, glory, nothing meant nothing. And I was drinking every day, something I'd never done in my life. To try and wash my uh, sorrows away. Because when I had a drink, it, it made the pain go away. Not pain as in physical pain, like punching me in the face pain, but pain as longing and the repetitive thinking, the same stuff day in, day out, and it won't go away. I can't tell you in words how I felt, how down I was. When you lose control of your own mind, you're in a bad place. I was going through hell. I was being tortured by demons and devils on a daily basis. This is what I believe. I believe that God tested me. God gave me the world, but I rebelled against it and it didn't mean nothing to me. I didn't want it when I had it. So he thought, right, I'll give you a little bit of pain here. Taste this, wallop. And I believe that that's what mental health is. I believe it is a, it could be a test, it could not be. I know it affects so many people in so many different ways. Sure. And it's a silent killer. That's another thing that mental health will give you. No, zero motivation to do anything. Zero motivation to have a shave, zero to brush your teeth, even have a shower, nothing. I got back that night and my wife thought I was drunk and I got down on my knees. I was in a dark room on my own and I was praying to God to help me. I was begging, there was tears rolling down my face because I knew I couldn't do it alone. I said, please intervene here and show me the way. Show me the light. I said, because I'm sick of living in darkness. And I got up off my knees and I felt a weight lifted off my shoulders. And I called out to my wife, I said, Paris here. She said, what? I said, tomorrow, I said, I start to turn my life around. From that day, I got my tracksuit on in the morning and I was gonna run two mile. So you started by walking and jogging. God says, give me your heavy burdens and I will make your, your work light. So I wasn't battling on my own. I had the, the, the biggest power of the universe has got on my side. And, and every day I'd go out on the canal and I'd do a little run in my sweatsuit. And every day I'd get a little bit further until I was doing four or five mile again. I said, I'm going to do it. And um, nobody believed me. And I saw a little video from Deontay Wilder and he said, ha, Tyson Fury let himself down, let his family down. He said, he's that fat, he'd never come back. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna give it you proper. You're my motivation now. I'm coming back to get you. Introducing the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. How is he doing this? I wouldn't say I'm religious, because that's not what I'm about. But I believe in God and I believe with God, anything is possible. Without God, nothing is achievable. Just when it looks like he's down and he ain't moving and it's over, um, he resurrects himself. Stands up, gets to his feet with a smile on his face and goes back to fighting. Life's too short for complaining. Life's too short for upsets. Life's too short to be sad. It's not over until it's over. I don't care how hard you punch, how great a punch is. It's hard to beat somebody that doesn't want to quit.